Hello, I'm Stephanie, and I'm going to do a quick garden walkthrough to show what is growing right now. We are due for a frost tomorrow, so I've been working hard at prepping the garden. And uh, we still have to cut the moringa and mulch the hibiscus, hoping it'll survive through the winter. Um, at least the roots. The roots will survive through the winter if we protect them. And hopefully they'll come back next year. So let me show you around. All right, so as you come down the front steps from our front door, we've got our hibiscus. This is red roselle hibiscus. We had a farmer's market yesterday, so we harvested most of the calyxes off of this plant. We left the little ones. So tomorrow we're due for a frost, so most of this will be gone. We're gonna mulch it heavily at the roots, hoping to keep it alive. It's such a beautiful plant. We're gonna grow a bunch of this next year. And here is my annual crop rows. I've got the first three rows trellised. We had tomatoes growing on these trellises. The first two rows was tomatoes and the second one was cucumbers. I've tried to grow some kale in this row. It was a trial bed. It's really hard to grow greens here. It's so hot. So um, they're still pretty bitter. So I'm gonna keep on trying, but um, it's hot here from March, well, April, really. April through November, it's pretty, pretty warm. So greens are hard to grow here. Got some ginger there on the corner. This is all okra. I grow a burgundy okra. It's a red okra. I'm letting the rest of these go and get some seed off of them. So I'm not picking or harvesting these anymore. We took the last of the smaller tender okra to the market yesterday. And some peppers that are dying out. They're about done for the year. And all this will die after the first frost. We've got some eggplant here, Tabasco peppers there. Now this whole area here will eventually be raised beds. We've laid down landscape fabric in preparation. We're gonna kill out the weeds and the grass that was growing here and next year will be raised beds in this area. So here's some moringa trees. Some of them are small, some of them are really tall. I've been harvesting off of these all summer. Now we did get a slight frost two days ago and um, there is some frost damage on some of these leaves, but I will be taking every last branch off these Moringa trees either today or tomorrow morning. And so I've trialed a couple different ways of growing this plant. I've got some that are spaced with pretty good, probably about four feet of space in between them. Some with just two feet of space. And then over here, I've got them really close together. This here is a purple sweet potato. I need to dig these up. I'll probably do that this evening. And then these ones right here are the ones that close, planted really close together to see how they would do. And we're talking like two inches apart. Now, these got planted just a few months ago, so they are not very big, but we're going to mulch heavily. We've got the wood mulch sitting there. I'm going to spread that around, and hopefully we'll keep the roots alive, and next year it'll spring up a new trunk, and hopefully it will grow quickly because it's already got an established root base. Got a fig right here. More moringa there. This is my asparagus bed here. I've got a mulberry there in the, in the center. Mexican sunflower. This should probably die back tomorrow also. I'm so sad. All of this green will be gone. The bananas will die back. I need to cut the leaves that are already dead. I'm going to lay them down on the ground and use them as mulch. Another cranberry hibiscus right there. I'm sorry, no, not the cranberry. This is the red roselle hibiscus. And it, the leaves turn red in the fall. Isn't it beautiful? 
And we planted that fig this year and we got some figs off of it. So that was pretty exciting. The blueberry bush has already turned red. Got some turmeric through here, more moringa. This moringa came back from last year and it sent up three new shoots. So this one root base has three moringa shoots in it. And I've been harvesting off of this plant many, many times. And it just grows and grows and grows. So the more you cut moringa, the faster it grows. You can see where I've cut it multiple places. And every time you cut it, it just springs into action and grows a ton more leaves. You can see some frost damage here from yesterday. It wasn't supposed to frost. It was like 36 degrees, but there was frost on our windshield. But tomorrow it's supposed to get down to 30. So I will be harvesting all these moringa leaves and bringing them inside to dry so that I have moringa in dried form for the winter time. Some more Mexican sunflower. Sweet potatoes there. Got some rosemary there. The rosemary will make it through the winter. Big comfrey right there. That should make it through the, the frost also. And then the rest of the stuff is some kale, purple bok choy. This right here is a mini key lime. And I'm a little bit worried about how that one will do. We'll see. I may cover it for the frost tomorrow. This is my mint bed on both sides. I've got mint growing on both sides and we harvest the mint for the farmers markets. And when it starts to grow out the side of where I want it, I just push it back. I pull it out and keep it where I want it. The turmeric, you can see, got some frost damage. I wasn't expecting frost this soon, so I'm a little bit bummed. Let's get close up of the red roselle hibiscus. Still blooming. These flowers only flower once, just for one day, and then they close up, and then the calyx forms behind the flower. And then this is the part that you actually harvest. So it will close back up again. And then the seed pod will form in there and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. We harvested all of these calyxes yesterday. So here's one. It's hard to see. There we go. Hard to believe that this tree right here will be dead tomorrow. But I planted this last year and it died back completely to the ground. We cut it off and this is the new trunk that grew this season. And I've cut it repeatedly. You can see where I cut it up there. It's grown so much that I can't even reach where I previously cut. So the trunk itself has grown and then I've cut it in multiple different places. Here and here, there and there. And it just keeps on going and going. Got more hibiscus on the front of the fence. Those leaves are still green, but they turn red at the at the end of the season. Those had just been planted. They're actually relatively new plants. So I'm curious to see how they will do. I may take some cuttings off of those plants also. Bring them inside, stick them in water, and see if I can root them in water. Passion fruit vine on the fence. It doesn't really like the frost either, but it does survive. More comfrey down here. A little moringa. It didn't really grow that much this year. It's pretty much this big as it's ever gotten this whole entire season. These ones were little and just recently started springing up and growing. I was worried about them. I didn't think they were going to grow. Part of the problem I think is the soil. The soil quality back here is not very good. 
So I've been mulching heavily and adding compost. Hopefully by next season it'll be better. And these bananas were gifted to us. I have no idea what the variety is or whether they will ever give us actual bananas. I imagine at this point they are probably just decorative, but I'm still hopeful that one day we might get bananas out of them. If we get a mild enough winter where we don't get too much frost, I might possibly get bananas the next season, but. Now this will all be flowers and garden, vegetable garden production. All right, so in the next day or two, this is all gonna look vastly different.